What was that? Did you see a Rhinoc? I thought I saw a Rhinoc. Ooh, take it from me, Spyro. Never spend a week in a cage. Mm -hmm. Next thing you know, your whole island will be knee deep in Rhinox. Well, gotta go. Mr. Laser Blaster and I have a whole lot of work to do. Ah, Agent Nine, my favorite pupil. Welcome back to my island laboratory. I'm afraid Rhinox have taken over the entire island. Could you stop them before they destroy all my research? Ooh. It'll be just like old times. Try shooting these dummies to get warmed up, but uh, be careful. I think a Rhinox might be hiding amongst them. A number of Rhinox are waiting to ambush us as soon as I lower this force field. I expect they'll keep coming until you shoot the red panic button next to the door where they emerge. There's another door at the end of this beach, and Rhinox will keep coming out until you shoot the red panic button. Work your way up the beach by dodging and using the natural cover on the right side. Indicators show that a bunch of Rhinox are hiding behind the display screen. I'll switch on the view pedestal, and you shoot them as they attack. I recommend using your sniper mode. them out! Let's see what kind of shape the machine room is in. I have a feeling the Rhinox haven't been keeping it too clean.
Just as I thought, the machine room is overrun with birds. To target the birds in their nests, you'll want to use sniper mode. Then zoom in for pinpoint accuracy. Nice work, Agent Nine. Uh, I'm not sure if this is a bird egg or dragon egg. Uh, what do you think? <laughs> now I can switch the gravitonometric generator back on. I hope no birds got in here. The lab's clear, and it smells better in here already. Uh, follow me outside, where I expect we'll find some Rhinox wearing armor. You'll need a more powerful weapon to defeat them. Calculations, the bombs in this handy vending machine should be highly effective against armor. Give it a shot.
a few more enemies left. You can do it. Thank you very much for saving my laboratory. Now I can resume thinking.